Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Our You Studio. I am your host with the most, Anne Hamilton with the George Ann. And today I am meeting with members of SDAG to talk about their organization and what they do on campus. Hi everyone, I'm Jill King. Um, I'm the president and co-founder of SDAG. I'm Nicole. Um, I'm the social media chair. Uh, my name is Lorena Martinez. I am the fundraising chair. I am Kayla. I am the uh, advocacy chair. I do a lot of research behind the scenes and help come up with uh, topics for our disabilities after dark and other events. And I am Harley Gray. I am the secretary. Um, so I keep track of the money. I do a lot of the managerial stuff. I do attendance. I try to get all of our members to complete their forms and <laughs> pay their dues. So what kind of is the role of this organization, what kind of events do y'all do, and what are your kind of like priorities or values as a, as a group? So the mission statement of the Students with Disabilities Advocacy Group is to create a safe haven for students with disabilities at North Southern. So that's really just kind of priority one, um, because there wasn't really anything that was meant for the civil community by the disabled community here at Southern before. Um, and we do a lot of events, you know, doing education and advocating and just creating a community for disabled students here on campus. And what are some of the um, things that you're hoping to like put on in the future or do to kind of draw more people? Uh, well, we do our general body meetings, but we also do what we call Disabilities After Dark, which is much more chill kind of hangout thing. We also have a couple of events throughout the semester, like Coming up in February, we have our anti-Valentine's Day party. So this is for uh, us, dis like as disabled people, to be able to talk about how dating is so much harder when you're disabled, the different nuances that come with that, and for our able-bodied friends to be able to learn about that and kind of get some better insight into what we deal with. Uh, what are some ways that you guys think that Georgia Southern can step up its efforts to become more inclusive to those with disabilities? I think just making sure like campus is accessible and making sure that Georgia Southern is hearing from the voices that experience it every day. Um, so I know we have some forms that we like to make sure our members have where they can report things that aren't accessible um, so we can work with the university to fix that and make them aware of the problems because they might not just even be aware of them. Uh, do you guys have any socials that people can look at and follow for people who want to get involved or anything to say to potential new members? Our handle is at um, SDAG underscore GSU on Instagram. If you want to give us a follow, you'll see everything else linked there. And we're kind of the most social in the Discord, just having a lot of conversations amongst each other. Um, so I definitely recommend checking that out. Um, when it comes to you know new members, um, anyone with any sort of disability, um, it's not just physical disabilities, any kind of disability, um, as well as, you know, we need our allies, able-bodied allies, we appreciate and love them. Um, so, you know, just come on out, you know, get learn a thing or two. Well, thank you guys so, so very much for sitting down with me. I really appreciate getting to talk to you guys and getting to learn a little bit more about y'all's organization. I hope that you guys all learned something new. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about this very wonderful uh, organization that has a lot of very sweet people who would clearly put a lot of care and time and energy into maintaining this really wonderful community. Thank you so much for watching this week's RU Studio. I was your host, Ansel Hamilton with the George Ann, and I will see you guys two weeks from now. Bye-bye.